Honestly, I'm really struggling to get good lighting. Um, hello, and welcome to my Circular Sock Machine Journey vlog. Uh, you're here because you know about the Mud About You podcast or YouTube channel. And um, my name is Madeline, and I just want to uh, do a quick little intro video. This is after the fact, we're at the end of September, um, and I'm filming this because uh, I realized I lost the footage of my initial day. But if you haven't, uh, you can head over to my blog and you can see the um, stream of consciousness, I think, as I was so excited and I started writing about this, this story, journey or whatever. Um, or you can just watch along and most of the steps of the way have been written down. I, um, I have edited it. I can't remember how I started, but essentially um, I went to the Fibre Fest in South Australia back in June and I met up with some friends down there and I went down with my friend Robin and when I was there I saw a circular sock machine um, excuse me in the flesh and I decided that I think I wanted one I had I've been tossing up with this idea since about 2017 and I've been saving money for this since about 2017 so it wasn't exactly a spur of the moment purchase around the same time Amy from La Bienna May had um, purchased her Earl Becker Gearheart uh, sock machine and so I had decided that I would um, place an order so yeah like I said the next little while I think this journey takes us from like the beginning of July till um, last week when I finally set my machine up in kind of mid-September um, so yeah thanks so much for for watching if yeah if you want the beginning for is how I decided the long uh, journey from 2017 yeah please check out my blog um, I've linked it down um, in the description box below but other than that yeah feel free to watch along leave me a comment and um yeah hopefully i will be good at making socks and things with it uh, but at the moment tubes and hung hems uh, seem to be the way to go thanks so much and um i hope you enjoy hello friends it's um the 13th of july and i have some news I don't know if this footage will ever see the light of day, but if it does, hello. Um, I've just come back from a day at uni and I've got some exciting news. So last week I registered Mad About You as a business in Australia. Um, I also opened a business bank account and my card has arrived. So that's also super exciting. And I've just had some offers uh, like for companies that have domain names because I have spoken about before I'm going to start a blog and one of the reasons I want to start a blog is so that I can document my journey for my sock knitting machine business. Um, so it's just like a crafty hobby thing but I figured if I'm going to be selling on Etsy which is the plan I need to um, have it all done properly. I've started writing myself a business plan, my sock machine is on order so things are coming together. I just need to get a domain name, sign up for a blogging platform and a hosting service and get all of that started and I, I've done a blogging course but I still don't exactly know how to do it and I've just realized I've spoken so fast so anyway all exciting and um I'm gonna save all these together and then we might um edit as it comes together but yeah anyway see you soon okay I officially look like a bag of beep um however I just made payment for my circular sock machine. So plot twist. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a vlog before that I'm recording that we don't know if these will see the light of day, but probably. Um, so yesterday, two days ago, I saw on a Facebook group that I'm a part of, someone had posted an Earl Backer Gear Heart that was up on Gumtree. Uh, I followed an Earl Backer Gear Heart hashtag on Gumtree for about three years and got nothing. No ping, so this year I got rid of it because I was like, no, nope, not happening, not for me. Anyhow, move on, I don't know, a couple of months, and I'm not following that that tag on Gumtree, but someone else is, and someone is selling an Elbaka Gear Heart Speedstar in red. So I contact the lady. I thought for sure someone's bought it. They had not yet. So I messaged her on Gumtree, I called, left a voicemail, and then I sent a text because I am persistent, if anything. And, um... Yeah, it's going to be mine. So it's a bit nervy sending money to people, a lot of money, you know. Um, but I trust her. We uh, took photos. She sent me photos of her and the machine. And I know the situation about why she's getting rid of it. Um, 
more passing it on to me, I guess. Um, so I'm not particularly concerned, but it's also always a little bit nervy. Um, but yeah, I've just done that now. It's Friday the 23rd of July. So, you know, I could have a sock machine by next week as opposed to September when I thought it was going to arrive. So anyway, um, yeah, this is just super exciting. Uh, I'm going off to finish an assignment now. And when it does arrive, probably next week or the week after, it'll be going under the pinball machine in my parents' rumpus room because I'm not allowed to touch it until I get my uni under control. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to my ramble. I look a bit disheveled this morning, but I have exciting news. It's the 27th of July and my circular sock machine is on its way to me. Um, and hopefully we'll be here by Friday. It's currently Tuesday and it went in the mail yesterday. So if you've been following along, which you probably have been, um, I had ordered my speed start from El Baca Gearheart directly in the US. Um, I was getting a yellow speed star, very excited. Um, and then last week, maybe I think Wednesday, I'm a part of a few circular sock knitting machine groups on Facebook. And I'd seen a screenshot of um, a lady, uh, um, a man had put a screenshot of a gum tree ad for an Earl Backer Speedster Deluxe, which is exactly what I had ordered, saying that she wanted to sell it. And she was in Wodonga, which is in Victoria, Australia. And so that's two states away from where I am, um, several hundred kilometers away. And she was selling it. So, and it's red. Um, and yeah, so I saw that. I went on Gumtree really quickly. I saw that the ad was still up. So I thought, okay, that's a good sign. Um, I sent the lady a message on Gumtree. Um, and then I thought I'd give her a phone call because her phone number was listed. So I called and left a voicemail. And then uh, about like two hours later, because I'm persistent, I left her a, I sent her a text as well and said, hi, I'm Madeline. Um, she'd said on her post, you know, serious buyers only. So I, I had said to her, um, look, I've actually got one on order at the moment, but I'm a bit, um, you know, I'd love to take yours off your hands because it would save me. I didn't say this to her and obviously she knew, but it would save me quite a bit of money in customs, import duty plus GST. Um, and I wouldn't have to pay the currency conversion and she was selling it quite a bit cheaper than it, it was worth anyway. So anyway, we chatted back and forth. Um, I looked up some different postage options or like courier options. Um, and in the end, ended up going with Australia Post, which is a little bit more expensive, but they would insure up to the full amount if I was to have to buy it from America. So that's what we did. I transferred a couple of thousand dollars to a stranger on the internet. And I was, <laughs> we'd spoken and she'd taken photos of her and the machine. Um, she had agreed to give me like a, a receipt. Um, so I thought it was pretty legit. Um, but, you know, you still get a bit nervous. I've been saving this money for three years. So, um, yeah, a bit nervy. Um, and then um, that was Friday. I did that. The money was in her bank by Saturday, which was faster than I expected. And, yes, you popped it in the post yesterday. Um, so I have contacted Earl Backer, <clears throat> which I actually did last week, and said, hey, if I'm able to buy from this lady... Am I able to cancel my order? Because I'm far enough in the queue. I think I'm probably still eight weeks away from my machine being ready to send. And Kim, who kind of like runs sales over there, is the lady I spoke to on the phone as well. She was super lovely about it and just said to me um, that she completely understands. And she looked up the lady and she did buy it from them in February, um, which matched up the, what the information that the lady had given me um, from Gumtree. So, yay. And um, and then I did still want to buy something from them. So I'm buying the accessories package, which has the table, um, which I could find a table, I'm sure, somewhere else. But I just thought it was easy to buy their table. It comes with um, some spare things like um, that you need, latch hooks. Um, I have asked for some cones, the winder attachment um, for winding the yarn from balls onto the cone because it feeds apparently apparently feeds better when you're um when you're making it so that's exciting i haven't actually sent the email to cancel my order yet i kind of wanted to wait till friday like the lady sent me a receipt she's popped it in the post i've got the tracking but i'm still 
I kind of want to see it in person before I cancel my place in the queue, even though I've, I've sent my money. So if it's not right, I'm not like I can afford to buy the one from America anyway. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned on a previous episode, but on a previous little blog, but I um, have found a lady who lives about an hour away from me. Um, actually, she probably lives more like an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes from where I live now. But when I move into my forever, well, not my forever home, but my home in a couple of months, she'll live about 50 minutes away. <clears throat> so that's exciting. And I actually rang her last week when I saw the Gumtree ad and I said to her, are you, um, I sent it to her. Could you please have a look? Does this look legit? Is all the stuff, does that look right? And she came back to me and said, yeah, look, I'd jump on this if I were you. Um, it's not yellow. And I was like, I don't really care. Like originally when I wanted to buy it, the only color they had available was red. Um, and I mean, I would have loved a custom color like this pink or a, like there's a really lovely aqua turquoise one that someone's got out there, but it was an extra 250 US dollars to have it custom painted. And that's just prohibitive. That's like $400 to have a custom color. I'm like, mm, I can deal with the red. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I, I have so much uni on that when it arrives, it'll be going under the pinball machine in my parents' rompers room, um, out of the way for a little bit. And then once uni comes down, hopefully in a couple of weeks, I will catch up. I'll make a time to catch up with Sandy. I'll probably pop to her house. She's going to teach me how to use my machine. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just wanted to, I've written most of this down, I think, cause I'm, I'm going to start a blog. I bought my domain name for my, my blog. I, which is not necessary, but I wanted madaboutyou.com.au. Um, I haven't chosen a hosting platform yet. I feel like I'm set on WordPress and then someone sends me something interesting about Squarespace and then I looked up Wix and that looks great too. So I'm just got to get through these assessments before I actually make a decision and crack on with that. But anyway, this will go up, I'm sure, on my YouTube channel and then you'll be able to, I'll probably in the notes below have a link to my blog where there'll be the written version of this if you want to see me, uh, the full details. So anyway, that's all for now. Thank you and I will probably see you when it arrives. Hey friends, I have some exciting news. My um, post arrived today. I got a few things in that package. I got an order from La Bien May and I got a big box sent to me. Sorry about the state of this bedroom, but look what has arrived. I'm not sure that that's in focus. There we go. My knitting machine is here. So this is as far as I've got because then I remembered that I was vlogging and that you might want to see me open it. So I'm probably gonna have to put this down as I try and get it out. Um, but yeah, it's here. It's been really a bit worrying this week. Like I was fairly confident that the lady would send it to me. She'd sent me a receipt. I'd paid the money obviously, but the package, the tracking had not updated. So she put it in the post on Monday. It is Friday afternoon today. And my parents texted me to say it had arrived about lunchtime or a bit before lunch, um, before midday, I think. So um, yeah, there was no shipping updates and I was like, Ooh. but anyway, it's here. So I'm gonna um, pull it out of the box. I don't know the best place to put this so that you can see as I do it, cause it's gonna be pretty heavy. see my messy study space. I need a screwdriver.
Okay, so I'm going to take you through a look through the box. I've literally just opened it. I don't really know what any of it does, um, but we're going to find out together. So, got a lovely note from the lady I purchased it from, the receipt. She's actually printed the tips and tricks by this guy called Steve Ashton, who is a whiz. He knows lots of things. And then there's the knitting machine manual. So I'm sure I'll read that at some point. So I get a cone of bright pink waist yarn. How exciting, because we all know I love pink. Um, oops. This is the, oh, now I understand what things are for. So, screwdriver, it's a little info card. Oh, I guess that, oh, that's cool. That shows you exactly how to put it back together, which is great. So that's the counter. Um, this is called a sock bonnet. Um, and that's you use this um, to start the sock. So I think this one has been made by Julie and she's left me a little note. Um, and then I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's one of my rubber dials. And there is my details. And then this must be the bonnet that came, or the two bonnets that came with it. So one cranked out of pink, like the waist yarn. And then another one here. Julie did say that she had made one herself and it came with one. So that's the great unboxing. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm about to pack it all back up and put it, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So it may be able to live in my room, um, but I think it'll be a couple of weeks before I can actually pull it out and start cranking because I have to get some uni done. So anyway, thanks for joining me on this part of my sock machine adventure and we will catch up next time probably when I've set the machine up and I know what I'm doing a little bit or maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, thanks for joining me and I will see you shortly. Bye! So the missing piece of my circular sock machine puzzle has just arrived um, all the way from America, from Missouri and I thought I would just, while well, I remembered, record and open this big parcel so there's a lot of um a lot of paperwork that comes with international postage apparently um so this came from dhl um, it was posted with dhl and i'm just wondering how i can post do this so you can see me. No, not like that. Okay. Um, so I think actually I could tell you when it got sent. No, I can't. Yeah, third of August, and today is like the tenth, so a week. It actually arrived in Australia on Friday, um, and then got cleared by customs on Monday. And then it tried to, the delivery guy tried to deliver it yesterday, but I was taking a, a test and I wasn't allowed to leave. Um, so he's had to come back. Maybe it's best if we pop you over here. You can see me in the box. So that's the only thing I ended up buying from um, El Back of America because my machine came. Um, so 
second hand from Australia. So in here we have waste yarn. So my machine actually came with a pound of waste yarn. So I now have three pounds. Um, orange is one of my favorite colors and also so is pink. So I've got white, pink and orange. Um, I don't exactly remember what is in the accessories package. So in here they have included my table. I bought I bought extra cones. Um, hopefully this is not okay. We're a bit close up. Okay, so. I bought um, some cones because when you are winding on a circular machine, you um, it's best to wind off of a cone. So I will um, wind skein a skein instead of onto a ball. You wind onto a cone, and it just feeds off really nicely for the machine. So um, there's a drill attachment here, and I. I bought this also, I think. I can't remember. Ooh. And Kim was just so lovely. So this goes in, pop it in your drill, and then basically you wind the yarn. I think it might actually end up being a two-person operation, if I'm honest. So this goes in, hooks into your drill, and then you can wind onto it. I'm also thinking that I might try put the cone on my um, Swift. And see if that works. Um, so, I think I've ordered 10 and they've sent me 20. And they've been so generous because the postage to Australia was um, more than the accessories package itself. Yeah, <laughs> that's just how things are. Okay, but what I'm just, my absolute gobsmack face is in a football. that Kim has included some beautiful sock yarn from um this is superwash wool and mulberry silk this is a shawl oh my god from um it's made I'm flabbergasted I think that is like the only deserving word right now um I feel so blessed and there was just so wonderful to deal with on the phone. So four skeins of this, which I did not pay for. That was just a really lovely blessing. Um, and then my table, which I also got some extra um, in the accessory package. It's extra machine oil. Okay. Lots of things like, which I don't think I've shown you yet. Okay, so, um, some of these things I probably didn't need the whole accessories package, but I wanted the table and the table only comes with the accessories. So I've ended up with another latch hook opener too, a slotted yarn carrier, which I didn't have before. And then a whole lot of extra 
needles. And I actually, the other day, just um, bought some little plastic containers, which I'm going to keep my little hooks in. So these are the river needles for when I'm ribbing with my river dial. Paddle screws to hold cylinders in machine. Okay, extra, excellent. And then that's the, the normal um, needles. And I wanted to buy extras of these because um, I didn't, you know, this, if I, I'm, I'm sure I will break some. So you can kind of see here. So when it goes in, that's the latch hook. And so they can break. And I haven't even pulled my machine out to use it yet. So I'm apprehensive and I'm sure I'm going to break a couple. So I wanted to... Um, have those extras and so I'm really excited about this having arrived like I said I haven't pulled my machine out yet because I've been really busy with my uni stuff and I just needed to get on top of it so what I actually think I'm going to do is um be really productive for the next three days and then Saturday I probably just do uni all day um and then come Sunday I might pull my machine out and actually start learning how to crank I've pulled out some sock yarn that is like just um, commercial, not hand dyed or anything that I've owned for a couple of years now that I haven't knit yet. So I thought that would be really good to like start practicing either with the scrap yarn that I have now, my cones of scrap yarn, or with this. Um, I feel so blessed. Like it was a very, this whole thing has been a very expensive venture, um, but I'm, I've wanted it for such a long time. I'm really excited. So thank you so much for joining me, joining me on the get, oh, I'm so excited. I feel like a, I don't know, a child. Um, and yeah, we'll probably, I'll probably do some, I'm learning how the hell to do this kind of vlog as well. So anyway, see you either next time or in a new video. Bye. Hey fam. Um, I'm in my new place and I've set up my sock machine. I don't have headphones in, so the volume's probably pretty crappy, but we are set up and I've started cranking. Just some waste yarn. I'm going to figure out how to hang a hem and make a cast on bonnet. Um, and I do have one of those handy to show you. So this is a cast on bonnet here. And basically they say that that's probably one of the first things that you should make to um, kind of help you get situated and figure out kind of what you're doing. So I've cast on using orange waste yarn. Um, I'm yet to name my machine, so I probably will ask for some ideas on an Instagram poll at some point. Um, but yeah, it's fun so far. And um, yeah. It's pretty terrible lighting, but I've just sat down. I've got a uni zoom very shortly, but I thought I'd just um, cast on and crank a few rows. So the yarn that I'm using here was a can't remember the brand but I didn't it's this color is carnival I have the tag somewhere but yeah I haven't enjoyed knitting with it and so I thought it would make good sock yarn like for a sock tube or something or other which I basically have done which is cool um but yeah it's um all good it's great for yeah knitting socks but not much else it's pretty splitty Ah, the old girl. She needs a name. Any thoughts?